<sighs> Alright, hey YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Amori. A game that I've never played before and I was gifted by a friend. So, actually, you know what? Specifically this friend. Check down in the description for a link to their channel. They make really cool content, and they even have, like, hidden ARG stuff, and it's really freaking cool. So, shout out to a really good friend of mine. <laughs> they say, don't worry, I love this game. I would never recommend a game that got well, it would be dark in any way. Just forget about Everhood. Yeah, totally. I can forget Everhood, that's possible. The Eternal Banana. The grass sure feels nice here. Wanna join us? Hell yeah, please. The stars shine brightly overhead. You don't have a care in the world. Amori learned observe. Tonight's a perfect night for stargazing. Predicts who a foe will target next turn. Okay. Yes, yes, hello, my customer. Welcome to my shop. Please buy something. Candy, apple juice, jacks, present. Present, it's not what you wanted to flicks anger on a friend or foe. Jack, steal small damage. Apple juice, apparently better than orange juice. Candy, a child's favorite food. Sweet. Okay, so this is essentially like a mana potion. This is a health potion. This is just a damage up. Like it inflicts damage and boosts speed. And angry. Of you know, I don't appreciate window shoppers. Well, sell better stuff then. Having fun takes too much effort, so watching my friends have fun is enough for me. Okay. Train station, Pinwheel Forest, Basil's house. Transportation station. Doesn't seem to be in service. Wait, I'm worried. We were supposed to be going to my house. It's just past the path uh, south of the playground. I just finished planting some little sprouts and want to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. Okay, let's go, Basil. These are sunflowers. They are called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. Sunflowers. 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 We're actually growing sunflowers. Okay. So these are the ones I need water daily. Watering can. So I guess just not today then. You did good, Basil. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's the way they remind me of Mary. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. Watering can? Whoa, what's that ugly plant creature? Don't you know, Cal? That's a sprout mole. Sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures, but become dangerously vicious when they're lost. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop that. You're stomping over all the flowers. Uh, it looks like the sprout mole is angry. I guess sprout moles also feel emotions. Since the sprout mole was angry, its attack is higher. 
But on the other hand, it lowers his defense. Okay, yeah, it's preserved, like I figured. So what are you saying now is the perfect time to strike? Come on, Amori, let's do this. pictures are so cute. I love the dynamic, like, slight changes. It's it's great. Amori Gouda Level 2. Ah. Uh, most of the flowers are unharmed. That's a relief. Hey, Amori. Now that we're getting the hang of battling, here's a journal where you can keep track of any neat foes we come across. Gave me the faux facts journal. <laughs> Pat's fist run ruin. Restart game. Bagel is good plant boy. I'm very confused. Is it like the face people make or something? Is that what bagel is? There, now it's in your pocket. Journal of yours is is yours to record with, but we might pitch in sometimes too. Check it out through your pocket in the player menu by pressing B. The lost sprout mole. Bagel. A dangerous and hostile, ugly plant creature. It says it is smart, but do not believe it. It is not. It smells like dirty laundry, says Amori. Butterfly. These are roses. Can you guess who they remind me of? They remind me of Hero. Did you guess correctly? Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meanings. Pink roses symbolize admiration, orange symbolizes passion, yellow symbolizes friendship, and the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero's like all roses because he's versatile and universally loved. Hell yeah. That's cute. That's cute as hell. Ah, these are a type of flower called the glad gladiolus? The gladio what? Gladiolus, also known as the sword flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character, someone who's honest with strong moral values, who stands by their convictions. The gladiolus reminds me of Aubrey because she's always true to herself. Oh, I see. So what you're saying is that Aubrey is really stubborn. Hey, no I'm not. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> Just the slightly looking away thing. I love it. Oh no, not again. Please, Mr. Spout World, stop twirling. You're destroying all the flowers. Oh, I see. This Sprout World is happy. In that case, it has a higher chance to do, hit our weak spots and do more damage. But this also might, means it has a higher chance of missing. Okay. So it has an attack that can hit multiple people. And you wasted your final turn. You fool. You gained 18 XP and 4 clams. Neat. Hmm. We seem to be running across a lot of foes with emotion. In case you didn't know, emotions can determine how strong or weak an attack is. Happy is beats angry, angry beats sad, and sad beats happy. Here, I even drew up a, a guide on how they work. I'm no artist, but I think you'll get the point. I'll put it in your pocket so you can check it later. An emotion chart. You want to look at, have a look at it now? Yeah. So, sad increases your defense but lowers your speed. Some damage to heart and deals damage to juice. Happy increases your luck and speed and lowers your hit rate meanwhile angry increases attack and lowers defense so angry deals more damage to sad which deals more damage to happy which deals more damage to angry got it
well, yes, it isn't great to miss. I think happy will be one of my preferred emotions to inflict on myself. Whoa, what are these flowers called? They're all cool and spiky. Actually, Kel, this is a cactus. It's more of a plant than a flower, and it's funny that you ask because they remind me of you. Is it because he's a prick? <laughs> uh, hey! Well, that too, but mostly because cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care and can survive even seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that you could take care of a cactus, Kel. Even you could take care of a cactus, Kel. Whoa, neat. Cacti are awesome. That's incredibly funny. Ah, uh, these are white tulips. Plain, simple, and bulbous. Just like a morby. A mori. Eh. I don't know. I just think it's cute. Alright. Trying to stay hydrated. Alright. Battle time. I know another sprout mole. It's all good, Basil. We got the hang of this by now. Hmm. This sprout mole seems a bit sad. See how it is curled up in the fetal position? That means it won't do as much damage as normal. It'll also take less damage to heart and will lose some juice instead. How sad. Let's put it out of its misery. Crit on. You're gonna get an attack in, right? Okay. Took no damage. That's... That's rough, buddy. Aubrey good to level 2. As did Kel and Hero. And learn massage. Hell yeah. Uh, hero learned it, so massage removes a friend or foe's emotion. Okay. Robin messaged me, why are you purple? Streaming Amori, I said. They responded, okay, Michael Afton looking ass. <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny as shit. <laughs> Hi everyone, you all came just in time for a lovely picnic. Feel free to rest here. Everyone, everything's already set up, and I even brought some fruit. You have fruit at this one? Hell yeah. Oh yeah, some delicious fruits. Would you like to eat some? I'd love to eat my friends. What? And someone else is messaging me. Bagel. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. You and your friends feel like new. Munch munch. Woohoo! Thanks, Mary, you're the best. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just trying to look out for all of you. Aw, uh, Mary, I wish I could be more like you. You always seem to have everything under control. That's not true at all. It just seems the way from the outside. Either way, you seem to make everything look easy. Yes, I agree. Mary is that so effortlessly grateful. Effortlessly grateful. Speaking. Don't you think so, Amori? I mean... From the outside, I guess. Ah, I guess I have to believe it a little bit if all of you think so. My house is right down this way. Are we all ready to go? I'm ready when you are. We'll catch up later, Mari. Mary, Mary, it's Mary, not Mari. I don't know why I'm dumb. Let me know if you need anything. See you soon.
I always want to have a picnic with my friends. Cuties, the lot of them. Okay. Boss battle. Um. Let's see. I can inflict sad, which will increase his defense but lower his speed. It means I get more attacks in, I guess. Yeah. Yield Sprout. Okay. Let's make Hero happy. And let's annoy Kel. Finally, Hero will just attack. Do it. Ouch. Okay. Lost some juice. Nineteen damage, hell yeah. The 19 damage really just goes to show how much you can deal. Oh, I'm not supposed to win this, I guess. Oh man, this fight is pretty tough. But don't worry, we can do this if we work together. Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you all a little bit about teamwork. Let's try again, Amori. We'll get him this time. You notice anything different, Amori? You should see a new bar at the bottom of the screen with a number on the side. This is our collective energy. By using this energy, we can defeat the foe together. Just attack and you'll see. Fast Aubrey, Fast Hero. Okay. So I guess I need to do this. Do you see the bubbles that popped up when we attacked? That's called a fall up. After you attack for a limited amount of time, you can use energy to perform a fall up move. Just press any directional arrow and you see what happens. The issue is I'm dumb. Five energy now. Ooh, man, this guy's really tough. When he attacked us, did you notice our energy went up? When we take damage, we also gain energy. Think of it as a chance to get to make a comeback. Okay, I guess I'll go and do this again now. Kale's great. Mm. 
Nice, we're full of energy. This is the perfect time to use our special attack. Mori, after you attack, press the... Is that plus or directional? I guess the plus button? I... I guess that's the pause button? I don't know. You're right, I should just start speedrunning this game. That way you, you can see the entire thing before you go to work. I hope you're ready. Come on, everyone. Let's show this big guy what we're made of. Yeah, that was a lot. Amori's party was victorious. He gained 150 experience. 50 clams. Level 3 and learned stab. Stabby stabby. <laughs> Guppy! And there you have it. Heroes Battle Tutorial 101. I'm sure this is fi as we fight more battles, our teamwork will improve over time. Wow, you guys. That was so amazing. Ah, uh, that was nothing. <laughs> I'm taking down way bigger guys than that. I should teach you some of my skills one of these days. Basil, I know you're not the type that likes to fight, but it's good to know how to defend yourself, too. You know, I've actually been working on a, hook, a book all about battles. Maybe we can all study together next time. I'll give it to a Mori to hold on to for now. The self-help. The self-help guide. As we get stronger, I'll be updating the follow-up section of the self-help guide. So be sure to check it out every now and then. Amori, you should know. When we gain XP and level up, sometimes we'll also learn skills. Skills are powerful and will have a wide range of effects, but each of us can only remember up to four skills at a time. After you learn a new skill, don't forget to equip it from the player menu, okay? Yeah, yeah, we know. Can we get to Basil's house now? Okay, that's all I had to say. Patience, Kel. How's it going, Cuppy? You having a good day? Everything going great and amazing, hopefully? A self-help book all about battles, written by yours truly, Hero. What would you like to help with? Mori and non-toast friends earn XP after each battle. Non-toast? Oh, right. Uh, toast is when you're knocked out. Yeah. Once a certain amount of XP is reached, that friend will level up. When a friend levels up, they gain stats and will occasionally learn a new skill. Okay. You can see the required XP needed to reach the uh, next level by examining the purple-pinkish gradient under each of the friend's names. Okay. I'm glad you're home. I'm glad you're in the stream, even. Um, sorry that your, you know, head was killing you and everything. Uh, let's check out Heroes follow up. Kawamori? Amori attacks and hero heals 15% of Amori's heart with words of encouragement. He's trying to go to the next one. Aubrey. Okay, it seems like it's going to be the same for everyone. Okay, give me just a second. I'm gonna go save, and I'm gonna see if it's actually possible to type this out. You've said this since I started the game, so... Well, I typed it. 
Once I beat the game, I'll go in and unlock the dev console and type in Memento Mori. Sure, I'll just go and beat the game for you real quick. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Shit, you right. Basil lives in a shoe that is so cute. Say cheese. We've been bamboozled. Ah, it came out kind of blurry. Well, that's okay, that gives it character. Hope you don't mind the photo. Of course we don't mind, I want to see it. Oh, sure thing. We all look so cute. The hell's my hair? I want to see, I want to see. Oh, hey, Amori, did you want to look at the photo too? It is a little bit blurry, but it's very cute. It's too bad that it came out kind of blurry, but you all still look so cute. I should add it to my collection. Woohoo, another shot for the photo album. Move over, Aubrey, I can't see. Hey, stop pushing. You already had your turn. Get out of my way, Cal. Wait, hold on, there's no need to fight. Me first. No, me. Uh, stop it. You guys are knocking me over. Oh. Uh. Whoops. Oh my gosh. Basil. I'm so sorry. Are you okay, Basil? You two are in big trouble now. This is why the both of you need to learn how to get along. I'm sorry. We didn't mean it, hero. Please don't tell Mary. It's okay, don't worry about it. Accidents happen. Here's your photos. It doesn't look like any of them got damaged. Let's put them back in the photo album together. Thank you, hero. Let's go inside my house first. Remember to wipe your feet before you come in. Cat. Basil's photo album. His most precious belonging. <gasps> Are you ready to put the photos back, Amori? Hell yeah. Hey, let's get started. Hmm, darn. I don't think I remember the order of all these photos. Don't worry about a thing, Basil. Mori has a really good memory, so I'm sure we'll figure this out in no time. About that... Um... This one? Okay, obviously this is the one that came last. Um... Oh, I don't actually have to try to remember. It knows where they are. Never mind. I was only second-guessing these two, but... That's funny. Basil's memories. I love that little thing to it. There, good as new. I'm really sorry for pushing you over, Basil, even though at least half of it was Kel's fault. Yeah, I promise never to fight with Aubrey ever again, unless she starts it first. Don't worry about it. I know you only wanted to see my photo album. Thank you for helping me put it back together. Hmm? That's strange. A photo must have been loose. Huh? What is this? Did I take this photo? Something about it seems... so familiar. Oh. 
That can't be. Mary! She... 